Hello, everybody. It's me. I'm about to do something I'm going to regret. Oh, no, God. Please help me. No. So on fanfiction.com, I found a Roblox love story by aspiring animator. It's going to be good. Okay, here we go. I'm going to regret this. It was a bright summer day in the college. Students were milling on the grounds, chatting, having a generally good time. The sun was shining, birds were singing, and two students from wildly different backgrounds approached each other. Those unfortunate souls were Slagmaster 13384 and Juliana Bay 932. Oh no. No! No! One had his illustrious shaggy brown hair that reached his neck. The other had bright pink hair that was tied up in a ponytail. Their visage, the visage, the judge, frick. Their V's were fixed with permanent frozen smiles, and and cold dead eyes. And yet, there was a certain amount of attraction between the two, a, a certain amount of lust, of love, of caring for the other. Oh no. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I am immediately going to regret this in a few years. Swagmaster f 15 384 approached cautiously. The tall bell tower rang, signaling the hour, 2 p.m. Now was his moment, his one chance to make everything perfect, to win her heart. <laughs> <laughs> Stop this! He held a Bloxy Cola in his hand, purchased after several days of tick scoundering. Swagmaster 15384 discarded it. He must show himself, and himself only. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, that was just me wanting to kill myself. Around him, everything stood still. The other students meant nothing to him anymore. It was just him and the pink-haired girl who seemed to finally have noticed him. Oh, no! No! Oh! His heart stopped. Could this be the moment? He plucked up whatever courage he had and spoke. Hi. Hello. Wanna be my G slash F? Okay! You know your online girlfriend will just automatically accept you no matter what. Now, well, I'm afraid to tell you this, but your online girlfriend is probably seven years old in real life. And is a man. <laughs> oh no! The deal was set in stone. Swagmaster15384 couldn't believe it. He'd actually won the heart of Juliana Bay 932. He was flying. Flying on a cloud. This was the beginning of a new era for him. From this day on, he would no longer be a noob. No longer would, would he be the wearer of 10 Tix hats. He was Swagmaster 15384. The man who wears 10 Tix hats. And he was hers to keep. Oh! 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 I'm literally done. I am literally done. I don't want to do anything anymore. Their romance was brief. They went to the movies and resolved not to speak, but to only let their body language tell me ever how one was thinking, feeling, <laughs> kisses, <laughs> the baby. Do you want to go to apartment? <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's seven years old! Or he, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it was finally happening. As Swagmaster 15384 led Juliana Bay 932 to his apartment, the full moon rose over the campus. But that did nothing to stop the partying that still occurred out in the courtyard. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to puke. Oh no, the actual cringe. A few dozen Robloxians were out cursing, 
flirting, and trolling. But this meant nothing to Swagmaster15384, for he had Juliana Bay 932 all to himself. He led her up to the elevators. This way, he encouraged. Within moments, they stood outside the entrance to his penthouse. Uh, wow. Yeah! <laughs> the view was incredible. Not only was Swagmaster 15384's ma apartment massive, but the window had a terrific view to all the campus. College life. It all seemed so insignificant compared to the romance that was occurring between the two lovers. Lays you on bed. Oh. Takes clothes off. <laughs> no, no, I'm done. I'm done. Oh no, I'm done. I quit. The couple, now standing on top of the bed in a fixed position, elected to stand close to each other as possible, tighten the romance as much as possible, and then the unthinkable happened. Juliana Bay 932 spoke. I I'm sorry, but I cannot be you with you anymore. What? I love a different guy. Swagmaster could hardly believe what he was hearing. Was Juliana Bay 932 cheating on him? And before he knew it, she was walking out of a room. Wait! What? Why did you leave me? IDK. And that was all Swagmaster 15384 ever heard from Juliana Bay 932 ever again. Her love, what seemed so tangible and utterly real just ten minutes ago, it was all a fallacy. And so the tragedy of Swagmaster 15384 and Juliana Bay 982 ends as a lesson to those who may follow in their wake. Misguided by the illusion of love, only to be cut off in the end and denied with a sweet and sweet, sweet embrace of a lover's arms. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, is this the end? Yay, it's the end. You know, there's a part two to this, but I'm probably gonna leave that until tomorrow because I've had enough thoughts of wanting to kill myself today. I mean, oh no. How should I rate that part of the fan fiction? Let's rate it 10 out of eight for Oscar nomination, random XD, and and if if you like this video, one like equals your very own Swagmaster fifteen three eighty four to to love you and eventually put you in a bed, and then you're just gonna cheat on him, and he he's gonna kill you for that. So. It's pretty much a lose-lose situation. And now with my signature outro. I only do YouTube for the money. And if I don't get your money, I'm going to kill myself along with my dog.